I think this is a good forum. Imekuwa kivizuri kwa sababu mara nyingi tukitoka hatujui zile shida ziko ndani. Nadhani sasa tunaweza jua how to help. Na pia kuongea ni vizuri. Tunaweza kuwa hatutatoa shida zote lakini kuongea kuji inaitwa ku excel. Si ndio? Ni mzuri na kusaidia kibawazo. Kwa hivyo si tuko hapa kuna jambo Mungu ametuleta hapa. Wazazi wetu wamekuwa alevi sana. Sometimes hata huwa tunalala njaa. Na hata tunakucha njaa hiyo shule. Sometimes hata fini ni vigumu sana. Ndiyo maana sasa tunataka kuomba mtusaidie. Sisi kitu yenye tungetaka mtusaidie ni shule tunaweza kuwa at least mnatusaidia tu tunakula shule kwa sometimes ni vigumu kupata food ya kubeba. Mala tunashinda jaa nini mambo kaa hiyo. So tukiweza mnaweza tusaidia food ya kukula shule. It is so embarrassing. Then when you think about feeding them, sometimes we we want to feed them. Then we find the kitchen that we have is such a mess. We get the water from that river. Sometimes it's swollen. If you those, as you walk around, you see there is a big landslide on the other end. One time we almost lost a girl who was in class eight because of the from where they come. He just stepped and uh, was deep in the trench. It was terrible. And even when we, we talked about it, nothing has been ha has happened. Sometimes it's at party pants. To keep us as we are to a to sometimes Savana Pesa Sabab goes to Naralanja. She died ni ni pants. Zagushikiria pant. The Marima gets a Gambia, one Mandi Kaki to Kauba in a Guanga Shinda Huetu. Sasa to Naomba Ninim to Sandia. Get to Nuria. To get flyers, she died to Nikua. She says sometimes she has to force her pants. Sometimes when I burn a marimu, I decay Kaziko, born a shinda venue tandika. Scusingina Kuna Mashida Konyumbani, Nakuta Narala, Jauna Shida, just sometimes when I be on Zazia Kununuria sanitary pants, when I shinda and Ashida Kukununuria, Juana, Pesa, Sikunigina was as wet to an Akua and Akunua Pombe. Mzazi akikuja nyumbani kama kuna kitu mweka kwa jiko anamwaga mnalala aja na hiyo the next day unaamka unaenda shule unakuja una, sometimes wanafunzi wanakupea chakula kupea chakula na wanafunzi unajua wanafunzi watakupea utapewa na marafiki zako huko na umebeba different food una unakaa ukiumwa na tumbo after after lunch unakaa ukiumwa na tumbo sasa tugomba mwe mnatusaidia hadi chozetu Sometimes unakuja uko na periods na tunashia cho na wa, au watoto wa pre-unit na au watoto wa dogo. Tunawamba uwa mtusaidia andi tuwe na separate cho kama ni kutoka class. Five pada hivyo wawe na cho zao na, na au watoto wengine wawe na the different toilet. Tusue tunashia, tunashia cho na wawa. So this school has little challenges and uh, these are affecting the girl child. Even if we want, you can see their self-esteem is low. Even if you want to raise their self-esteem and uh, they are not comfortable at home, they are not comfortable, at, at least here in school. We give them sometimes parts when they come. But you only give them one. One has eight. And if a girl has, uh, is using five, I uh, mean three parts, at least three parts per day, you can see somebody who has a long whatever for seven days by the second day, the third day, the parts are over. What does she use? And the mother tells her, go and look for money and buy. The motorcycle boys are there. And those others. And because people are drunkards, even an old man would buy you parts. Kwani kunambi. Sometimes, sata kama tunatoa ipa and moja shule. Sometimes, sauna hata hizo inaweaza kushikili yo pant. Tunamba mnaeza kutusa india naza, tawels. Mafuta hivyo, sababu wa sasu yetu, wa sasu yetu wawana, awaezi kutusa india. So, we are appealing to, because these are children, whatever you find um, good to partner with us, we promise that we will not let you down. Ni si jambo la kufraisha. Na, 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 na huwezi, mimi siyezi jita kiongozi, ni kiona watu wangu wanakana mna hii. Kwa hivyo mungu watu saidie, Na diposa sisi kama shirika tumeshirikiana na serikali kusaidia pale tunaweza. Cho person I believe God has something bigger in store. And to be able to make Meru again great, we have to go to such places. 
Najua ni rahisi kwenda mahali kwingine lakini huku ndani watu wengi wanasahau. And I think Meru is becoming great by us visiting here. So thank you so much. So tukikuwa na economic empowerment, tuko na social empowerment, tuko na spiritual nourishment. So sanitary parts I think uh, the executive director has already made a commitment we've consulted to kasema that one we are going to do. But beyond that we'll also go and uh, bring in on board other partners. We are in consultation with other partners which actually focuses also purely on sanitary parts. Na ishafikia the right person county imesikia si ndio? Spread to Africa international organization imesikia si ndio? Na tuta project your voice kabisa uh, madam principal yeah. to all other partners. And I'm sure that uh, we will work with our girls. Um, this initiative that your team and uh, organization has started is quite impressive. And uh, given that the work that you've been doing as a citizen, I have a responsibility to see where I can come in. And uh, through friends and family, uh, we have been able to put something very small together to also support this initiative. And we are happy that the turn turnaround was very good, and also the call by the various uh, by various people was honoured for us to make this successful. Uh, I've been talking to you and I've told you that this initiative is uh, part of something that personally uh, I have a conviction uh, to be involved in because it is something that we've been doing uh, for a couple of years to celebrate my month of birth and uh, we, we have had different projects every other year. Uh, through the support of friends and family, I cannot have done this alone. So, a couple of years back, we started this, and I thought uh, every time there is my my birthday is around, we only come together and friends eat, drink, and nothing impactful probably happens. And probably we could do something that uh, could help other people out there. And uh, one of the initiatives that we came up with was to help uh, <coughs> a disabled. Uh, home who did not have a home and we were able to come and consolidate friends together and we were able to put up a home for them. Now this year is a change to that and we decided that probably we should find another project to do and we grappled with the idea of what to do this year but uh, fortunately enough I have been following the works of the National Youth Council online and they keep popping up on my status which I, uh, you know, I was able to identify that you've been working with the various uh, needy as people in the society and especially the youth. And in particular, the Kajiado one, that is what really uh, attracted me, uh, where young girls were even, you know, uh, selling out themselves so that they could at least afford a, a, a part. It's unfair. These are things that they are supposed to be accessing them uh, freely and in fact, you know, it's something that I'll call even being a branch of the government that probably it's an initiative that you could probably uh, address through the government and have our young girls who cannot afford some of these facilities uh, to have them free of charge. That said, we've been able to bring together a few friends and a few families and uh, through the Facebook fraternity, social media fraternity, and we've been able to raise a, a few amounts of money to be able to afford to give this uh, uh, packs so that through your noble work and office, you're able to reach more people than we would. Uh, we would have loved to take them ourselves probably to some location nearby but there's somebody out there, Malsabi, Tisiolo, Kajiado, where we've seen uh, the places that you've been working in. So we are happy to hand over these packages to you uh, to be able to be included into the gift pack, uh, dignity pack, as you told me, uh, for every other girl to be able to go to school. It is said that when you educate a woman, you're educating a nation. And uh, my assumption is that 
if, I, if some of these things are not accessible, then that means you're depriving somebody an opportunity to, uh, to be educated. And that also has a ripple effect to the economy of this nation. And uh, we, we might not be able to afford to reach each and every one. But the small ways that we you know, come together and impact somebody's life, my joy and happiness is to make sure that that one person has been assisted or has been able to, um, uh, to, to be helped. So I wouldn't say much, uh, given that this was only a handover ceremony, but I would like to appreciate, uh, by and large, the people who are involved in this process, uh, the friends uh, who, are, who are my friends on the social, on social platforms, our family members who are also friends in the social platforms as well, and, and give them a, a, a thank you note and take this opportunity to even appreciate them for being able to come together, heed the call, and be able to support uh, somebody out there. Sana, Asante Sana, even for hosting us here. And we hope and believe that uh, this is going to reach out. We dubbed our campaign Wezesha Dada 35 Bob. Uh, campaign where we you know we were calling on everybody to give a 35 bob shillings to be able to reach out at least one girl and uh, different people donated according to their ability and strength and we were able to get to this point so Asante Nisana I really appreciate for the good work that you're doing uh, a lot probably is not seen but we I can testify to the fact that uh, I, can, I have seen and I'm able to follow some of the work that you people are doing out there. So uh, we hope and believe that this is going to reach out to as many girls as, as they are. And uh, we hope that we can continue this initiative because we have decided to actually adopt it uh, and, and keep it and proceed on with it uh, for a long while. So thank you very much, Mona Sio. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I am here to express our gratefulness to the National Youth Council because through the CEO uh, Roy Sasaka uh, we, we have been invited here as Woswa to just receive this uh, great and uh, impressive work towards uh, giving and reaching out to girls uh, through providing sanitary care products uh, for them and of course uh, as a women's uh, association and uh, that supports female students, we all know the, the, the vital and uh, crucial role that uh, these products uh, take part in the, in the journey uh, of womanhood and uh, technically it's an everyday thing and uh, it's great to see that uh, even men are taking lead in uh, addressing this concern. And uh, with this, we are hoping to see more girls uh, being kept in school and uh, nothing has to deter them from reaching their dreams and uh, being beneficiaries of uh, this initiative to just keep empowering them and uh, to keep pushing them towards achieving more and uh, taking lead in matters that uh, affect them. We just want to appreciate George and his friends and family who have done an online campaign to be able to support the girl child in the country as far as sanitary towers are concerned. We have partnered with the National Youth Council Spread Truth Africa and we have noted as we go across the country that one of the biggest need that the girls have in this country is sanitary towers. There was an experience in Meru County where we were able to sit with close to 20 young girls and some of them were able to tell us they could actually not attend class because of sanitary towers. Not only that, that they had to, be, to, 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 to even sell off their bodies so that they can be able to get sanitary towers. And that broke our hearts. And as the National Youth Council, their big mandate is to be able to voice the concerns of the youth. They were able to raise these concerns even to us as spread truth. And we were able to go last month in Kajiado County where we gave dignity parks. And I believe George was able to note that on the social media. Again, this tells you the power of the social media. And as a result of that, he has donated these sanitary towels that I believe they will go a long way in addressing the needs of the girl child in this Republic of Kenya. Thank you so much, George, and the family and friends for this wonderful donation. God bless you. Just this month, the government launched the Generational Equity Forum in Kenya, and the Kenyan government made commitments towards 
the Kenya's Generational Equity uh, Forum. And one of the key commitments, uh, I think commitment number 11 and 12, covered on how the government is going to have a collaborative approach, bringing together strategic partners, uh, the, the civil society, the NGO, and all stakeholders in ensuring that the dignity of the, ch the girl child has been empowered and realized. So these sanitary parts, we are going to distribute them through our intergenerational dialogue program called Sawazija Gumzo, the one that we have just intergenerational discussions with our young people with uh, an intention of getting solutions to problems that are affecting us as young people. And today, as we launch, as we appreciate the commitments made by the Kenyan government, we are actually, as National Youth Council, living that dream today. Today here, we have our strategic partners. We have Spread Truth Africa. We have the WOSWA, which is the, uh, the, the, the student arm of University of Nairobi for girls. And we have one of our strategic partners, George, who was actually, in realizing the generational equity, uh, rallied family and friends this month for two weeks through this program uh, initiative uh, dubbed Wezesha Dada Pink That Five campaign, which is an initiative of rallying together friends and families with the realization that we can only achieve generational equity if we have a collaborative approach. So today as National Youth Council, we want to appreciate George for this initiative. And George is serving as, as, a, as symbolic to what all of us as young people, as youth of this country, rallying us towards a cause. And I just want to reiterate that as National Youth Council and with our, our partner Spread Truth, this is what we believe. This is an agenda that we want to rally the youth voices across the country to champion in ensuring that the girl child is empowered, the girl child has a safe space, and the girl child can equally uh, participate in all spheres of life. And as National Youth Council, we just want to applaud uh, this initiative, and we say that this is a commitment we are going to champion and ensure that we rally this across the country. Thank you.